beauties i am back with a new video if you're new here welcome my name is monica i am a coach i coach on acne belief and confidence abc coaching <laughs> yay um but today i am going to talk about acne and specifically related to this book by Louise Hay. It's called Heal Your Body and I really love this book. I just love looking at it whenever I feel like an ache or pain or something's coming up in my body because in the very back of her book she has like a whole list of like problems and then what they're mentally associated with. So today I thought I would focus on the skin and acne because that's what we're about here. So I'm going to read everything she says about acne stuff and what it signifies and then give you some tips on how to make those things maybe go away. <laughs> so I mean who doesn't want like clear skin, you know? Okay, so let's get into it. So there's actually four different things that she has in this book that are related to acne and skin. So one is just acne, the other is um, pimples, <laughs> and then the other two are blackheads and whiteheads. So all four of those are in there, and all four of those mean different things. So let's just get into it. I took some notes. So what she has to say about acne is that it's a non-acceptance of the self or dislike of yourself, which is sad, but could be true. What she says about pimples and blackheads are that they are small outbursts of anger. And then what she says about whiteheads is that they are hiding ugliness. So through our whiteheads, we hide the parts of ourselves that we think are ugly, which also super sad, but you know, when I had a lot of acne, I definitely could resonate with a couple of these, and I don't know if you guys can, let me know in the comments below, but we're going to give you some tips for all of them. So the first one, um... Let's do anger first because I think that's a really interesting thing that acne could just be caused because we're angry. I mean, acne and stress definitely go hand in hand. Absolutely for me. I still break out when I'm stressed. So, like, anger can manifest in, or stress can manifest in the form of anger too. So, for anger, I said... Here are some of my tips. I would definitely say meditate because it helps calm your body, relaxes your body, and going along with meditation, I think journaling is definitely a way to meditate, but it's also a way to free write and just get your feelings out there and on paper, and sometimes when you write your feelings down, it's a lot easier to just have that as a way to express your anger and then you don't even have to go and tell people off or like express your like true feelings of anger because you've already got it out so um but another thing is just channel channeling your anger through exercise or a creative form like artwork i know there's a lot of cool ways to make art on your anger so like splatter painting or throwing like darts and balloons filled with paint or I don't know painting yourself like yeah getting a tattoo I don't know I, I don't know if I'd recommend that myself but you know it's a good way to get out anger for sure and then as far as hiding ugliness goes um, I would definitely say watch my video on how to look your best to feel your best because I think that when you take time and effort to really look your best, it's going to not only show to the world, but it's also going to be reflected back to you and you're really going to embody feeling good and then you don't have to hide that ugliness that you might think you have. Um, and then I would definitely say positive affirmations are really helpful, so if you're, like, trying 
I don't know if you're like, I just hate my nose. Like, look in the mirror and be like, I love my nose. <laughs> um, I also, I didn't write, write this down, but I was kind of thinking it. And I'm, I'll just say it to you also. So, I've never had plastic surgery, but I would say that plastic surgery does help some people who are really just feeling down about, like, their bodies or specific body parts. Again, I don't know if I personally would recommend it, but I know I just wanted to throw that out there, just in case. Um, but first, I would work on the inside, for sure, before you're like, yep, that's 100% what I need to do. Um, so yeah, positive affirmations, definitely, definitely helpful. And just positive affirmations like, I love my body, my body's capable, my body's strong, my bo I feel good in my body, just like those simple things too. Does it have to be specific? And then the last one I would say to hide your ugliness. Uh, for me personally, I would say diet and exercise is like the biggest thing for me. If those two things are in check, I personally just don't feel good about myself. Not necessarily that my acne comes <laughs> out, but I would actually, yeah, it does because diet and exercise are huge contributors to acne. Like, eating certain foods definitely cause acne. Not eating enough can cause acne. Um, not exercising can cause acne. Exercising and not wiping it off can cause acne. So actually, it does. But, wiping off the sweat, I mean. Um, but yeah, I would definitely say get your diet and exercise regimen in check. Um, and then the not accepting the self, um, this is like huge, I think, yeah, I think this one's like huge, um, if we don't accept ourselves, sometimes, you know, our bodies can just manifest like crazy things, one of them being acne, and so I would definitely say one big tip is write down all of your positive qualities, all the things that you love about yourself, all the things that other people might love about yourself, so maybe this could require you, if you're really in a spot where you're like, nope, I, I don't like anything about myself, then maybe go to your best friends and go to your spouse if you have one, or go to your parents, go to your siblings, people who know you, and just be like, what do you like about me? <laughs> like, I'm really struggling, I really need help. If I was your friend and you asked me that, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like of course, then I would list some things for you. That's what a true friend does, so if you get friends who are like, what? <laughs> Those aren't your friends, and walk away and go find someone else. But yeah, write down a list of all of the things that are amazing about you, and you might even be surprised with how long your list is. And if you really are struggling with this, um, I would challenge you to write the ABCs <laughs> and write an A for something that you love about yourself, B for something that you love about yourself. So an A could be like, I am accepting of others. And a B could be like, I am bubbly. So, yeah. Um, and then another thing would be to visualize who it is that you really want to be, like, who your future self you really want her or him to be, and start embodying that and acting as if, like, that's who you already are. So if you're like, I really want to be confident, what would confident you do? Would they go to restaurants and eat alone? Would they go to the gym without fear? Would they, I don't know, start reading books on confidence? Would they teach others how to be confident? Start doing those things, you know? And then, um, lastly, I would say make efforts to change the things that you really don't like about yourself because the reality is that we are definitely not going to like every single thing about ourselves and we can change those things so for instance if you're like someone who's quick to anger start working on that and sometimes this is so much easier 
to do with another person by your side. So whether that's a therapist or a coach or like a best friend. I don't know if a best friend will hold you that accountable as much as like the other two will. But maybe. <laughs> um, but I would say work on those things. So, yeah. And just as an example, so if you're like quick to anger and you want to like chill out, then maybe in the moment when you feel angry, like pause, take 10 deep breaths or 20 deep breaths, um, think about things you're grateful for, think about the qualities you do like about maybe someone who's causing anger to be brought up in you, um, and everyone is likable. Everyone has something that is likable, so just remember that. <sighs> yeah. Well, okay, so that's my tips. I hope that was helpful to you, and go pick up this book if you're curious about, like, other things that you have. Maybe you have, like, I don't know, foot pain or headaches. That's all in here, and it's just cool to see, like, what it could signify. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I hope you guys have a really powerful, healthy day. Bye!